Seahawks. We got the Seahawks next is who we got. October 6th, 425 p.m. Not to be confused with the Bengals, who I'm actually excited about seeing. Because the Seahawks, <laughs> who played the last two years, I have no excitement to seeing them again because they've beaten us both times here, guys. So, um, But this is a whole new Seahawks, guys. Besides the fact that both times it's an imaginary creature that doesn't actually exist, there's a new head coach in town. And it's uh, Mike McDonald, the former Ravens defensive coordinator, replacing the legendary Pete Carroll. Uh, you know, so the Pete Carroll move seemed to be his decision at first. Then rumors kind of persisted about his interest in other head coaching jobs, including the Chargers. So it appears like the Seahawks wanted to move on, but they also didn't want to fire him. So they kind of forced his hand to make him step down. Should sound very familiar to Giants fans, shouldn't it? <coughs> yeah, we all know what happened after Tom Coughlin left, guys. Sometimes you keep the one you got when you got a good one. Um, the Seattle Seahawks though, do have a lot of uh, young stars that really haven't reached their potential yet, like wide receiver Jackson, Jackson Smith and the Jigba and cornerback Devin Witherspoon, who Rob and I, both these players, sang their praises like you would not believe coming out of college, guys. And we're oh, going to yeah. continue to do so because those guys are extremely talented. Witherspoon, you got to see it. Uh, you know, Smith, Smith the Jigba, you didn't really get to see it yet because he's a little bit backed up right now by Lockett and uh, Metcalf kind of blocking them there. But like, they also do have veterans. Right? We just talked about the two wide receivers they got and all. So, But in my eyes, losing a great coach is always a loss, no matter what the organization thinks as far as that. But again, the Giants have lost the Seahawks the la- each of the last two years. And unfortunately, I have that becoming a trio of losses. I have the Giants losing here to the Seahawks. I don't think it's going to be an embarrassment like it was last year. Because last year was an embarrassing game, guys. We lost that. That was a beatdown at, at that point on Monday Night Football, I believe it was even. That was a primetime game, I know. So, yes. yeah. I'd love for us to get a little revenge here, but unfortunately, I just don't see it happening. I got the Seahawks winning. I took this as a close game. I think uh, there's some movement going around on both sides of the, the football. I think it. It works out because when we play the Giants last year, it was week six. This is week five. Um, was it week seven last year? It doesn't matter. Uh, Either way. We talked about how, how the Seahawks offensive line has looked great, even with their second uh, secondaries in place. Um, I'm playing for them. Protecting Gina Smith, making him look like a decent quarterback. Well, guess what? We got a better defensive line. We got way improved offensive line and I, I think the Giants should come out with a squeaky win. A little scrappy, a little revenge. So you gotta win in this game. I gotta win the game. All right. We're two different now at this point so far. Both with you having two extra wins compared to me so far in the season. Very early on in the season as well. You got the Giants off to a very good start. If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes, too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm I'm begging you. Please, please subscribe.